Hi everyone, Stock Mo here. Today's video is for entertainment purposes only, and boy, do we got a good one for you. I'm gonna talk about some crypto here. I'm gonna show you how to become a crypto millionaire buying Ethereum, and it's gonna be very interesting. I've done this with some triple lever stocks. I've done this with just overall stock market, but I'm also gonna transfer that over to the crypto market, and this is gonna be amazing. So if you wanna see how much money it takes, based on a few little variables out there, to become a crypto millionaire buying Ethereum over the next few years, you're gonna to wanna to stick around because I think you're gonna like what I got for you. If you're new to the channel, I am Stock Mo. I'm an old financial advisor and teacher. I was in the classroom teaching high school and college level classes, investing finance, but more importantly, cryptocurrency. I actually wrote my own curriculum and out of the year long investing course, I spent nine weeks of that, one quarter of it, on cryptocurrencies. What was, you know, what is the different blockchains out there? What are the issues they're solving? But more importantly, how to make money on them. I even taught them how to build miners to go home and start getting their own. Some of the students went out to actually earn quite a bit. I had one just call me up and tell me made over six digits in a matter of a few months. So I'm really proud of these students. They're doing great. But I'm gonna bring some of that knowledge here on YouTube, and we're gonna talk about how to become a crypto millionaire, but I need you to do me a favor, hit that subscribe button down below, and of course, the little bell for notifications hit all. That way, when I put a video out about crypto or anything, to help you take your investing at that next level, you'll be notified. Hit the thumbs up, that helps me with the algorithm with YouTube, and of course, I also have a link down below for BlockFi. If you haven't done it, I highly recommend checking that out. You will get up to $250 in free Bitcoin, which I have a chart on here, right here, you can see. And of course, this is important because I'm gonna show you how to become a crypto millionaire today, and part of that, and I actually can get more money into this is getting interest on your crypto. So I actually highly recommend using BlockFi for this because you're gonna get interest, you're gonna get free crypto, and that is important as we move for the, forward into this dollar cost averaging. I also have a way to get some free stocks. Get two free stocks from Weeble right now, put 100 bucks in there, and you'll get a shot at 1,850 in free stocks. I get a free share because I'm an affiliate. It's how you support the channel. And finally, I do have my link down below to my Patreon. If you wanna come over and see all my portfolios, what I'm buying, selling in crypto and stocks and just be a part of the discord which is awesome so let's go ahead and get into it now and take a look at ethereum i'm going to be basing this video on ethereum because that's the one i think is going to outperform all cryptocurrencies including bitcoin now that's not saying it's guaranteed it's going to be the highest in all of this but it is the one that i'm putting my money on i'm going to roll the dice with this and i do believe it's going to come up sevens and i do believe it's going to be good stuff so when we look at this over the last we can go to the max right here you will see the average look at this 19,000 percent return if you got into this way back when so with that being said we're going to discuss this a little bit and talk about some of the average returns and use this towards what i would expect moving forward if you see this kind of return over uh since back there in two, beginning of 2016 last month of 2015 that is big and that is way over the the percentage i'm going to be using doing the calculations to figure out what we need to do to become crypto millionaires and i'm going to show you how to become a crypto millionaire it's going to be very interesting i'm doing it personally in case you're wondering this is not something i'm just making a video on uh, i'm actually putting money i'm dollar cost averaging in i'm actually doing more than what i'm uh, ex uh, going, to, going to explain here so it's going to be hopefully beneficial for all of us. Hopefully this works out. We're all millionaires sitting around a beach somewhere that we all own. So here we go. First things first, take a look at this. This is Ethereum and it goes ahead and it shows you the average mean, uh, the average return on this over the history is 2,383%. And that's based on the some of the original prices they had way back when it first got started. And, it's a, and so right here they have a, sh a chart showing you that in 2017 it went up 9,100 percent then down 82 percent and then down eight percent for 2019 and up uh 464 percent for 2020 my point of this chart was the one show you the the annual return all right when you see an average return of 2382 percent when i tell you i'm going to use 20 percent i'm only going to use a 20 percent average return over these years 
Look what the average return is right now. No, do we expect that every year? Absolutely not. The volatility is crazy for crypto and it's not gonna slow down. The, the, the volatility is still gonna be there. We're seeing it right now. You're watching crypto Ethereum get up to 43, 4,400 almost and then dropping way back down. It's all the way back down to 2,300 and something now. You're looking at 40, 50% swings and we still could drop another 40 to 50% from where we are or we could double in a matter of weeks and that's the way it is with crypto but in the long run this is the average return so i'm not going to use 2300 i'm not even going to use 238 i'm going to use one one hundredth of the average return which is going to be 20 percent and so we're going to find out how that works out so i'm going to go to this calculator this is going to give you a rough idea i'll throw out a couple of numbers all right now i'm personally trying to add on as much cryptocurrency every monday as I can through all my investings and everything else. Now, I've been investing for uh, a long time. I have cash on the side, so I do have some available cash that I can add into here, and I'm doing that. And when it's low like this, when I see it down in the 2000s, I consider that very low. I'm trying to add on full coins weekly as long as I can do it. But once it starts to pop, once it starts to run, that's gonna become much more difficult. And even though it's higher and that's when you feel good and you wanna buy it, it's on these red days is when you should be buying, okay? So when you see it on red days, that is the kind of day you'd wanna buy it on. And you look at today, for example, this is down 13% in one day. If that would make you sick to your stomach, if this would make you to the point that you would sell, I can't handle it, you have stocks that drop 13% in a day and you got out, Cryptocurrency probably is not going to be for you because this happens all the time. And you can see days where it goes up and you can see this. This is a matter of 24 hours and at one point in under 24 hours is up 30%. And then after that, in a matter of under 24 hours, down 11%. And then up from there, you're all the way up again, up 20%. Remember, 10% is a correction when it drops. 20%, you're in a bear market. This happens all the time. To the, look at this. This is right here. Look how long it takes to get down. Uh, we're all the way down to 19%, a little bit more, and you'll be back at the 20%. This happens all the time in crypto. I'm showing you a matter of one week, up 10, down 20, up 30. You know, it's all over the place. So if that would be something that would bother you, this probably isn't for you. But if you're all right saying, all right, I'm going to dollar cost average. I'm not even going to pay attention to it. I'm just going to do this. I'm going to buy through it. Well, this might be something you want to do. How to become a crypto millionaire using Ethereum and dollar cost averaging. I've shown this with the triple leverage. I've shown this with regular ETFs. This is how you do it with crypto. And I'm going to put in that now. This is how I had to use this calculator. But I'm going to put in 10% of 50000 a year. You make fifty grand, you are going to put 10% or $5,000 into uh, Ethereum and you're gonna do it, you can do it, I don't even care if you do 100 bucks a week for, let's do it that way, we'll do 52,000. And so we're gonna say $52,000 a year, you're gonna put $100 a week in. So that's 100 bucks a week and you're gonna do that and you're gonna start at age 30, but I put in a 3% increase because usually you'll get a 3% raise every year and so I would expect you to continue to put 10% of your salary in. And so after we put that in, this is what you're gonna get down to and you're gonna start at age 30 and age 50, uh, we're gonna stop at age 50 and see what it's worth, okay? And so after that, I put in an annual rate return of 20%. Now. I'm gonna discuss a few things with that because I know some people out there and say, hey, a 20% return, that's why I showed you in the beginning here and I showed you the historical returns is 2,300 and something. So I'm only doing a hundredth of that, not even. And on top of that, what did I show you about the BlockFi? You can get up to 8.6% depending on how you do it. Uh, I think Ethereum is paying roughly 5% over here. And so if you can get 5% return in interest, let alone on top of any gains, now you don't need a full 20% annually. If you can get that 5%, you can go ahead and get 15%. It'll add towards it. But I actually think the growth of Ethereum will be actually 20% by itself, not even with the interest. This is on top of that. But this does give you a little insurance policy. So once we put that in there, you will see that the number changes. For those that haven't seen it right here, $1.2 million in 20 years, only putting in 10%. Now that's risky, and why is it risky? And I have to tell you, high risk, high reward situation, okay? If you put all your money in one cryptocurrency, nothing else, 
it can lead to devastating results. If it drops, if something bad happens, if it gets outlawed, you can end up losing a lot. And I'm gonna tell you something. If you don't believe me and you're thinking, oh, he's just saying this. I lived through one. I owned it back in the day. And this is what happened right here. See this? I was in it back then. And watch how much it loses here. And before you think it can't happen, 94% of all my money in Ethereum was gone. Here's the good news. Guess what I did? I hodled it. I just held on, held on, and held on. I actually uh, let it sit in the account. I didn't worry about it, I let it go. I actually didn't check it again until 2022 and saw that it was up massively since I got into it. I didn't get into it at the beginning either. I actually got into it down in here and it rode up. So uh, after all that, it is at new highs and I'm still very happy with some of it, but I'm dollar cost averaging into what I have now, which is more and more and more. And if you wanna see how I'm doing it and all that, follow me over the Patreon. It's supporting the channel. If I've ever helped you at all, that's a good way to give back. And now with that being said, we go back to here and you will see you'll have $1.235 million. Well, you want me to show you real magic? And this is the part a lot of people get scared about. They can't believe it. You want to see something really scary though? Watch how much it grows with the power of compounding. I'm going to put in there that nothing different, all right? Besides retiring at 50, you do it until you're 65. It doesn't even matter what age you are right now. If you can do this for 35 years and we can continue to get this averaged out over those 35 years, which I think can happen, and we're gonna get into some of the reasons why, watch what happens. I calculate, you now have almost 20 million dollars. And how much did you invest to get that 20 million? It's right here. Over 35 years, you have invested $323,000. Now I know some people out there who are anti cryptos, anti-Ethereum would say, oh, there's way too many variables. And there are a lot of variables. But if it can become, uh, I, would, I always say, one of the main blockchains for finance. If it becomes an ETF, which I think is going to happen in the next 12 to 24 months, if you're going, if NFTs begin and just continue to explode and Ether is needed for this and all the other different things that are building onto this blockchain, you're going to see Ethereum continue to explode. And if it becomes deflationary, where we get to the point that more the supply starts to drop because of the uh, base burning and, and all that other stuff going to proof of stake, this could be huge to the point that it could grow by that 20% over all those years. We'll have to wait and see. We'll have to wait and see. It could get to the point that the average growth of this becomes whatever normal inflation is, three, 4% a year. All right, so these are factors we have to understand. In the beginning of any new technology, you can have massive growth like you saw over there, uh, hundreds of a percent, uh, or hundreds of a percentage gain annually. And then all of a sudden, it's down to nothing because everything has been adopted and it's just normal. So that's what we're looking at with this. And of course, and it all depends on what age. Don't, it doesn't matter if you're 30 or over 30, under 30. This is just based on 35 years. It doesn't matter if you're 20, this is when you're 55. If you're 15, this is when you're 50. So if you're doing this kind of money at that point, if you can put in $5,200, 100 bucks a week, that's a lot of money. But if you could put in $100 a week, this is the possibilities you could have at a certain age. This is to me personally, and this is how I believe it, is a once in a lifetime opportunity to be a part of something brand new, cryptocurrencies. I've been in this market for over 10 years. I've been mining for 10 years. I was there on day one with Doge when I was getting over a hundred and something thousand Doge coins per day. And I was there mining Ethereum and Bitcoin and all kinds of different cryptos out there. And I, like I said, I have old computers. I got to pull the wallets out and make videos and see what they're still in there because they've been sitting back there literally for years and years and years. And I'm kind of excited to do it, but we'll find out. That's a different video. But for this, this shows you how to become a crypto millionaire by investing in Ethereum. I think Ethereum millionaire is not out of the uh, realm of possibilities. And, and of course, if you want to double it, you want to put 104,000 in a year. This is not, you can put in 200 bucks a week. If you did that, it just doubles up to $40 million. And we don't know how far and how long this is gonna last, but oh, could you imagine if, it, if you were able to do it for 40 years? Now you have almost $100 million. That is what those additional five years get you. Every, every five years, um, 
it's the, the compounding takes it up. Five more years, you go from 99 million, 246 million. That's the power of compounding. Now, does it mean we're gonna be able to get 20% for 45 years? I highly doubt it that long, but I do think uh, getting it out there, like I said, for 20 years uh, is possible. And this is, um, like, that's, like I said, this is putting $200 a weekend. Uh, but I do think it's possible. You can just cut that in half. And so this is one of the things I get excited about, and I am doing it myself. I'm putting my money where my mouth is. I'm putting, I'm buying cryptocurrency, I'm buying Ethereum every Monday or at least weekly, uh, usually on Monday. Sometimes I'll buy it if there's a big dip, like we're having a big dip now. I might actually look into getting a little bit more today just because of it. So these are my ways to become a crypto millionaire. And uh, I showed you how you can get on top of that. And this is the important part. Find ways to get dividends, all right? Crypto, if you can put it in BlockFi and they're gonna pay you a percentage, say 5%, you have to look exactly what it is, but depending on what crypto you can get, you get up to 8.6%. And then I like the Ethereum because Ethereum, I feel like it will grow itself by 20% over the next decade, at least 20% average uh, returns over, that t over those 10 years. We're gonna have negative years, positive years, but at the end of it, I do believe you are gonna average way higher uh, than um, what people are believing, like five, six percent. I think you're gonna see 20% over the next decade averaged out. Uh, hopefully for the next two decades, uh, if it devours like I think, it should be able to do that as well. And if you add in the interest that you could get at BlockFi and the free money you're getting to help you start, that's good because it's compounding all over all those years. So that's what I got for you today. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Get those, like I said, click on the link down below for BlockFi, get that and take advantage of the free money you're gonna get there and your two free stocks from Weeble because uh, you put a hundred bucks in there and get a shot at 1,850. They have crypto over there as well. It's just a lot of good crypto things out there to take advantage of and come on over and check us out at the Patreon. I'd greatly appreciate it. Now that's all I got for you. Let's get out there and make some money.